A couple years ago, Problem Child 5 got out of prison and signed a million dollar deal with Future. The Atlanta native got the chance to completely change his life, but he couldn't stay out of the streets, and now he's facing five murder charges. This is the wild story of Problem Child 5. Problem Child came up on the east side of Atlanta in Zone 6. Not much is known about his early life, but he jumped off the porch at a young age and has been arrested 13 times since 08. He hasn't talked much about his family life in public, but in 2020, he went on the Ugly Money podcast and revealed that an Atlanta legend was like a father figure to him. He out, like, you know, he been there since, like, before I was born. So it's always been like a father figure. Oh, wow. Big Bank is a major player in the Atlanta rap scene. He's a CEO of Duct Tape Entertainment and is locked in with huge artists like Future, Young Thug, and Playboy Cardi. And he's also affiliated with the Homicide Crew. According to Problem, Big Bank has been around his whole life. And when he was coming up, Problem got tight with Big Bank's son, Lil One DTE, and another dude from Homicide named Big Sosa. Problem first got locked up in 2008, and ever since then, he's always been in and out of jail. He told the Ugly Money podcast that he would be in the studio for a month straight and stay out of trouble, but he always ended up going back to the streets. But I just used to always show him like, bro, just in the studio, yeah. just like, I, I go like a month straight making songs. Yeah. Then I'd be like, man, I gotta get back to the street. But <laughs> I told him though, like, bro, like, I'm serious this time, bro, because I don't, like, ain't nothing else. This the way, if everybody else, man, I know I can do it. Back in the day, Problem and the rest of the dudes from DTE was close with another rapper from Zone 6 named Ola Run. Ola had a wild come up just like Problem and was always getting into trouble as a kid. He got hit with a five year sentence for robbery at just 16 and started rapping behind bars. Ola got out in 2018 and got straight to dropping tracks. It ain't take long for him to build a buzz and by 2019, he already had Gucci Mane's attention with the track Feel Like Goo Wop. Gucci hopped on a remix of the track and helped put Ola on the map. And then he tried to sign him to his new 1017 label. Ola was already signed to Cinematic Music Group, but Guwap tried to buy his contract out anyway. Fans thought the deal was done when they saw Ola rocking a 1017 chain, but then the deal fell through and Ola stuck with Cinematic instead. According to him, the deal wasn't right for him, and Gucci sent the 1017 chain without them even meeting each other. That's when issues between Ola, Problem, and the rest of DTE allegedly kicked off. It's rumored that Bank was tripping on Ola's pops when he signed a cinematic instead of DTE. Ola's dad is affiliated with the Front Street henchmen and helped him get started in the rap game. When Ola got out of prison, his dad turned his car lot into a studio to help support his music career. According to Big Bank, everything started when Ola asked him for a feature and Bank turned him down. That's when Ola dropped the track Mob Father and aired out Big Bank. He rapped, you ain't it. Heard you got Big Bank, turn him to a lick. How the f you a dope boy if you ain't sold shit? Moved to the three, got ran out the six. Damn. Ola allegedly took shots at Bank's son Lil One DTE too with the line, he get kidnapped, don't get your kids snatched. Rather die in the pen, feel like thug life. Shout out the reverie. And on the hook, Ola said Bank with rat and said, snatch up your love and make the godfather gonna call the cop. Big Bank is called the godfather of Atlanta by a lot of people. So Ola was calling him out directly. After the track drop, a video of Ola getting arrested at Lennox Mall started going around on social media. And in the clip, Ola accused Big Bank of calling the cops on him. Big Bank, you the police too, man. Make sure you pull that shit, man. Tell you about Big Bank a rat, man. Bank clapped back on IG Live and called Ola and his dad broke. Then Ola responded and dragged Problem Child into the beat. Ola went live and aired out Problem for allegedly having a good childhood. According to Ola, Problem's dad was a preacher who cooked food, while Ola's pops cooked crack. And Problem Child, your daddy name Big O. Big O is a preacher. Y'all, Big O is a preacher, man, man. Big O is a preacher and he's a chef. He cooked food, no dope. Y'all heard me? My father cooked dope. Y'all heard me? Your father cooked food. What you talking about? He also claimed that Banks started hooking up with Problem's mom when she was just 14 and Bank was in his 20s. Big Bank started your mama when she was like 14 and he was like in his 20s. So that shit like you his stepchild, you feel me? Problem wasn't gonna let the disrespect slide. And he hopped in the booth and recorded a diss against Ola called PP Son. On the track, he said, catch a henchman out there slipping, hit him with that 223. Could have really hit Lil Ola, but he took off up the street. At first, it was just social media beat. But in June 2020, tragedy struck when Homicide took a massive loss. Problem's homie Big Sosa was allegedly murdered over a dice game and Problem was allegedly with him the day it all happened. Right after, 
problem hop on IG and wrote, I die with you, Sosa. Brother, it's my fault. I shouldn't have left you, bruh. Why the fuck I pull off, Sosa? Bruh, I'm so, so sorry. Problem had just announced his $1 million deal with Future and Big Bank, but his homie was killed before they could make it out of the streets. He dropped the track a letter to Big Sosa to pay respect and talk about how his death affected him. Problem rapped, how the fuck them niggas left Sosa right there on the ground? How the fuck you think I feel, man? That shit just crushed my smile. Losing your homie to violence is bad enough. But then, the situation got even worse when the ops started dissing Sosa. Ola and his boy 24 Left Eye both took shots at Sosa on social media, which is allegedly why 24 Left Eye ended up getting shot. 24 Left Eye caught a couple rounds and got sent to the hospital. Then Big Bang's son, Lil One DTE, went live with Problem Child and took credit for the hit. The war between Homicide and the Henchman was heating up, but Playboy Cardi put the beef on the map for everyone to see. When Cardi released his album, Whole Lot of Red, he aired out Ola and the Henchman on the track Stop Breathing. He rapped, Ever since my brother died, ever since my brother died, I've been thinking about homicide, I've been thinking about homicide. Cardi and Sosa was locked in, and Cardi even changed his Twitter handle to RIP Sosa after he died. He also shouted out Problem Child and some other dudes from Homicide on the track and said, Free Lil Tip, Free Migo Bliff, Free All My Guys, Free Problem Child. I've been with Lil Demon and Lil Bino in R5 riding in the tank on 285. Cardi never had a reputation as a real gutter street rapper, but he aired out the henchman with the line, on the way to French Street, who say we ain't outside? Smoking on the henchman, got a n fried. I'm hanging with the power rules, hanging with the fives. I got mob ties, I got mob ties. Then Cardi called Ola out by name and said, I got n and chain gang on my side. I had n shank Ola for a pie. A dude from the henchmen and Benji Bluebills clapped back with a disc called Stop Bleeding and accused Problem of backdooring Sosa. He said, Yo, homie killed your homie. I guess you ain't know, because there was rumors that Problem was actually the one who killed Sosa. There's no evidence to back the claim up, but that ain't stopped the ops from using it against the homicide crew. In November 2020, Problem dropped his debut project, King Op. His track Sticks Up with Future racked up millions of plays, and his collab with Young Thug popped off too. Problem said he had left the streets behind and was ready to take over the rap game. But just when it looked like everything was turning around for him, Problem suffered another tragedy. In August 2021, Problem's homie, R5 Homicide, allegedly took his own life in the studio. Problem hopped on IG and said, Who the f gonna watch my back now? Take me with you, twin. R5 had just started coming up in the rap game. But according to rumors, he had problems with pills, and Sosa's death took a major toll on him. Last year, Problem Child's career hit another speed bump when he got locked up on a parole violation. But the situation got even worse when the news broke that he's facing five murder charges. There's not much info about the cases, but one of the bodies he's allegedly responsible for is a dude named Chad Billingsley. Police claim back in 2019, Problem allegedly caught Billingsley at a gas station and started letting off shots with a rifle. According to police, Billingsley had a connection to whoever shot him, but it's not clear how it all went down. With five murder charges hanging over him, it's pretty unlikely that Problem Child will ever get out. And now there's a chance the whole homicide crew might get taken down too. A reporter from Atlanta named George Cheedy reposted a clip of Problem Child going live from the Fulton County Jail. He wrote, This is Mikael Gunn, the rapper Problem Child 5, in Fulton County Jail. P5 is an East Atlanta gangster affiliated with DTE and Homicide. He's made music with Future. Gunn is accused of killing five people. And according to Chidi, the district attorney's office confirmed that Homicide is one of several street gangs on a road to a racketeering charge. Rap fans were shocked when Young Thug, Gunna, and the rest of the YSL crew were targeted in a RICO case earlier this year. And now, Cardi's homies could be next. George ain't playing around with their RICO cases, and it's a good chance that Cardi could get wrapped up in it even if he ain't committing no crimes. When it comes to Rico's, just being associated with the dudes breaking the law could have the cops coming for you too. So hopefully, Cardi has a good legal team who's ready to fight back. Problem Child's already in a bad situation. And now, if he gets Rico charges added on top of the alleged bodies, there's almost no way he's coming home.